Oh, can I chug in there? <laughs> I don't remember who was this cop. I'm gonna guess it was Savvy. I have a report. We have detected traces of Normalium from the teapot. Oh yeah, uh, recap to the best of my memory. So this is a two-part case. Half of it takes place in the past, led by uh, Miles Edgeworth's father and a younger version of Ray. And there was a baking competition in a weird museum building. Uh, yes. And the body of one of the competitors was found in a chocolate sculpture. Uh, and the case was basically never solved, more or less. But uh, I think the motive was like someone wanted a recipe book that had some kind of like important chemical whatever in it. Yeah, we also found out that like, I don't remember who they were, but two of the dudes have sons in it that are like adults now or something. I do not remember that at all. <laughs> No, I think that was a thing. Like, they, they went to the same elementary school. Maybe. Um, the... In the in the present day, uh, they basically had a reunion of the living people, and another one died. And unfortunately, it was the chef! Uh, and <laughs> because there was a mixture of, like, normalium and fatalium, <laughs> creating stink gas that kills people... Anyway, it's definitely the hostess lady. So yeah, uh, definitely. Like, there's literally no one else it could be. Oh, the hot French hostess lady. Yeah, mm -hmm. the one who serves us a card of booze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. It's just like Mr. Edward said. Yes, I am very intelligent. Mm, darn it! Did Mr. Edgeworth take the title of the best from me again? Mr. De Best, you never had that title. It seems like you have an obsession about being the best. But when you're on the case... Oh, but when... I really thought that was going to be an insult. But when you're on the case, <laughs> winning and losing is of no importance. What are you saying? Obviously, it's best to be the best at everything! If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. What? I... I... Die. Shut up. <laughs> Please stop harassing Sebastian. <laughs> That's it. That's the game. <laughs> Sebastian, a person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. Justine. Yeah, you're right. Please leave this to me. Oh, I forgot about her anti-gravity breasts. The awful boob. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? My boobs are above the law. Oh, <laughs> gravity. <laughs> Extra <laughs> These are extra I think we've already made that joke. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll be right back then. Go on your snipe hunt. All right, I'll be waiting. Judge Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. DeBest. Well then. Ow. Miss Curator, is that, how do you say that? Curator, I curator. guess. Curator. Curator? It doesn't have a very good flow. It confuses me. Uh, Miss Curator, can you tell us why Normalium was discovered in the teapot? Oh, is, is she still me, you. or do you want to take her over? Because, like, we're going to cross-examine her at some point, right? I don't want to be both, even though I love playing her. Yeah, Savvy, do you want to be her? Uh, I'm, um, no. All right. <laughs> you, All it right. was you guys. It was one of I'll you guys. I won't step in. I was not aware that it contained such a chemical. I suppose it may have been an ingredient from the detergent I had used. So you're saying that you did not put it in deliberately? No, of course not. There is no way for me to have known how to create the poison gas. <laughs> <laughs> sweat, sweat, sweat. Objection, you look so guilty. Despite being a former <laughs> actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the angels right well you used to be an actress but you now aren't that's not what i meant and you know it <laughs> the angels recipe is in your possession and the method to create the poison gas is contained inside that recipe book so you must have known how to create it ah, i'm surprised you know about that miss curator is this true it's true that the information about the poison gas is contained in one of the recipes However, just because I saw it does not mean that I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell me what set off the poison gas? 
It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the glass case with a burner. Haha, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> himself in that room on his own will and then set off the poison gas. Wouldn't that suggest suicide? Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Yeah, dude, have you ever played one of these games before? Don't cry at the door. Don't do this now. Furthermore, I wouldn't have been able to obtain a chemical like a megatoxin X. That may be true, but you could have stolen it from someone else. That reminds me, I met up with Katie a week ago and... You dumbass! <laughs> that night was when I realized that my Megatoxin X was gone! <laughs> the in chat, <laughs> Sushiano, the Powerpuff Killing Toxin? No! <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you couldn't have. I'm eating crackers, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, Madame Madame Delicia. Delicia. Oh no, the voices! I hear them again! Always carried her medicine bag around with her. Anyone could have stolen it. That's right. She does suck. I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Kate, why can't you tell us what you're hiding? <laughs> I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. Yes, I need a motive. <laughs> Mr. Shields, you doubt me as well. Setting a trap on one of the gallery's exhibits and then disguising the rooms? I just think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. What if there was a there ghost? No or security cameras at this gallery. It could I have been. <laughs> I purposely left the security <laughs> shitty at this place. If any ill intended, I didn't get to read Sorry. them. It is okay. It would have been an easy task for them. Then isn't that like an all-you-can-steal buffet in here? You have to be careful. You never know when a great thief could appear. Luckily, one hasn't. It doesn't sound like a joke when Kay says it. Actually, Monsieur Gustavia apparently entered the gallery before it opened. Well, I'm beat. You solved the case, buddy. <laughs> Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Kate's iron guard. Hmm. This might be a good time to use the technique your old man taught me. Whips out a gun. <laughs> the technique... Tell me who, tell me you did it! <laughs> the technique my father taught you? But he's not supposed to reveal the secrets of our bloodline. <laughs> I <Shotgun>. drank on... <laughs> <laughs> This case is deeply connected to the one from 18 years ago. If we just pursue the present case, it may seem like there is a lot we don't understand. But if we try turning things around, there might be a hint in the case from the past. Thinking the other way around. Did my father do that too? What a weirdo. For example, just consider the relationship between the past case and Kate. <clears throat> I don't remember. Miss Hall melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures for... And today, Mr. Dover's works are on display in this gallery. I'm gonna go grab my charger, baby. It can't be. She... I see. Now I know what to ask her, which is good because the player also very well remembers the remainder of this case. <laughs> That's good to hear that you haven't been away for too long. In that case, Uncle Ray will just watch over you as you look at the work. No, that's all I right. mean, as you, you do your work. I mean, you can you can help out if you want a little bit. It's cool. My legs are real tired, okay. man. Miss Catherine Hall, 18 years ago, it seems that you melted Mr. Dover's sorbet, sherbet. How do you how do you say sherbet? This? Sherbert sh sculptures. Although they are missing an R. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. I'm like, okay. Yes, I was young and inexperienced. I did something inexcusable. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. You can be her for now. <laughs> I don't understand either. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you seek her testimony? Yes, I would like her to tell me about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I would like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If you insist that this is related to the case at hand, I will allow it. Oh, you're not being a fucking roadblock for no reason? That's out of character. 
they were gonna call her roadkill. Miss Curator, your testimony, if you please. Very well. If that will clear your suspicions about me, I have to wait for it to load, so I know. I'm not just talking slowly. No, it's no. it's it's slow no matter what. I can't advance through the dialogue any faster. Yeah. It's fine. Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Art Gallery. Oh, I hope they fix that us. glitch in the next fan patch for the uh, Sherlock Holmes games. Eighteen years after Monsieur Master was arrested, I was finally able to buy back his money. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre O'Kay's works from all over the world. After all, it was my dream to open the Zodiac Art Gallery. It's wonderful that your dream has come true. What do you think, Prosecutor? What do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't believe there was anything strange about her testimony. It is good that her dream came true. Case closed. Judge Courtney, I believe in the courtroom it is standard to cross-examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there are no contradictions? Hmm. <laughs> you speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. You're not. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh, I just saw a really good, really good comment. Time to use my secret bloodline technique. <laughs> Opens walk. <laughs> Opens what? You cut out for me. Opens walk through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just to like look back at what our. Uh... What do we have? All right. It's been a while. Oh, uh, four pages. He died. He was inside a dessert suspect. Uh, this is the... Um, I'm just going to rely on the walkthrough. Art gallery pamphlet. Okay, that's just the map. It's a cute gallery. Yeah. The winter palace. Winter Palace, the Autumn Palace. <laughs> Is it which one's Palace and which one's Palace? I always forget. Fuck, oh, man. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna be real. We are so close to the end of this case. I literally think it will add like 35 minutes if we try and remember shit instead of just cheating. So I'm. Oh, that's totally fair. I'm just gonna cheat. Oh, shit. Hold, it. Hold it! Stop talking. It must have taken a lot of hard work these past 18 years to buy back the mansion. Oh. The palace full of my memories With Monsieur Master It is the only place for me I don't know how to <laughs> It's, cool. it's not like a musical from da, 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 Oh, it's da, da, open back da, 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 okay. da, da, da. Why are you making me sing? <laughs> no matter what At any cost, she looks like she's having An awful time I hate that <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, Well, she's a furry actress Singing and dancing into your livelihood <laughs> <laughs> Enough with the singing. Please continue your testimony. Winter Palace and Autumn Palace. Thank you. Just maintain it. There's an art gallery. Are you managing this gallery by yourself? Yes. Well, I say manage, but it only opened today. And I must continue protecting this mansion because I didn't hire any fucking guards or security cameras. Bad idea. So Mr. Master has a place to return to. God, could you be more suspicious? So, she took back the mansion for Mr. Master's sake. Kate, I'm so sorry. I was perilous. It's not your fault, Monsieur Shields. I couldn't do anything either. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do now is continue to protect the mansion. You don't sound too oh, broken no, up I about it. Anything. I cannot do anything about this person dying by my hand. Oh, it's just happening. You know, I had just slipped a little bit. It was <laughs> Pierre okay. That's Mr. Dover's alias, correct? Yes, it is the name he used when he worked as a sculptor in France. About collecting his works. Oh, good press. Oh, okay, there's more. <laughs> How did you prepare the Taurus and Gemini sculptures? I heard that Mr. Dover passed away before he completed those two sculptures. I made them up. I had the sculptures in the Winter Palace, specially made based on the photos I took. Oh. Could you tell us about that in more detail? Well, I took the camera, I pointed it at them. Mm -hmm. I, and then what? I uh, got somebody else to press the button. 
So you hired someone else to take a picture, but not any security for your museum. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Opening the Zodiac Art Gallery was your dream. The truth is, I wanted to manage the gallery together with Monsieur Master. Well, he's, uh, am I going to sing again? Please. He's either no. dead or... Oh, no. God! <laughs> Singing and dancing and all kinds of sweets. Please kill me. <laughs> That's the kind of gallery I wanted. <laughs> was she planning on staging a musical in here? Jeffrey Master disobeyed the goddess of law, so he died. What? It is unfortunate, but I'm afraid that your dream will never come to pass. Courtney, what the hell? No! Monsieur Master is dead? I, yeah, is he still alive? I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> the prosecutor at the time did not believe it, but... I like the idea that, like, he got executed, but nobody ever told her, so she has this, like, weird pipe dream, and no one wants to mention it. Master is alive, he has really. He's been in jail for 18 oh. years. I go to visit him every day, but he just does not come into the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I sing to an empty cell. The guard always tugs at his collar, but he never brings out Mr. Master's. It is weird. I have memories of being at this strange event outside with everyone who's wearing black. <laughs> and they were all crying, and I said, they must be crying because Michel Master is nowhere to be found. Only this long box they are burying. You know that the long box was made of some beautiful chocolate. I thought he would love that. <laughs> And then someone said that it was inappropriate, and I did not know what that word meant. I, I was did just. Understand why people were throwing dirt and rocks on top of this food? And I said, "Do not <laughs> throw the dirt and rocks. I have not yet tasted the chocolate, and I bought, I bit into the box, and it was wood." <laughs> 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 In order to protect Catherine Hall, Jeffrey Master gave a false confession. They were both trying to protect each other. <laughs> By photos, do you mean the ones taken in Isaac Dover's room? Oui. You seem quite familiar with the events from 18 years ago, Mr. Edward. It is almost as if you were sending your mind back in time. So the sculptures in the Winter Palace were replicas? He melted, and I didn't even get to see them once. No. The Sherbet sculptures should have been, uh, shouldn't have been replicas. Miss Hall is obviously lying. Obviously. I'm sure this is, like, pretty obvious. We have no I fucking idea. To, to prepare them. It is a shame they melted. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are the same Sherbet sculptures from 18 years ago. Unless I point that out to her, I won't be able to find out the truth. Okay. Just gonna... Not even gonna use my brain here. Just gonna cheat immediately. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Present to the if liquid you, you, <laughs> you can treat the sound of the uh, the music getting all chuggy as um, Jello using King Crimson in order to find out. What's that's going actually on. that's uh, Edgeworth's robot brain just chugging like an old. <laughs> <laughs> all right, present He's the liquid. He's hacking the psyche locks. Right. Hold on, I've got like fifty tabs open. I, I do actually. It's a lot. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've got like three hundred open. All right. I just open art for later and I don't save it. <laughs> okay, we're looking for the liquid analysis <laughs> results. I think I've got at least I think I've got at least twelve YouTube videos I'm meaning to watch all on different tabs. Right. Objection! I'm cheating. Using touch, my touch, robot touch. Brain. You can't fight a robot with access to game FAQs. Did you really think that your excuses would continue to hold up? No matter how much you lie, you can't deny the composition of the sculptures. From the analysis results, it's quite clear that the sculptures in the Winter Palace are the sherbet sculptures Mr. Dover created. Oi, Miley, as a pharmacist, it's my turn to shine. No, sit back down, you walking no. problem. What we call sugar actually comes in many different varieties and tastes. Wow, really? Tell me more. Even if the sculptures were replicas, it's nearly impossible to replicate the composition. 
I, I see. Uh, thank you for the explanation. Though I don't recall asking for one. <laughs> Sweaty. That, Miss Hall, means you couldn't have melted the sherbet sculptures back then. You stole them and preserved them for 18 years! This case, this case is so what? dumb. She preserved the sherbet for 18 whole years! Hmm, if you freeze it properly, it's not impossible. Overruled, Overruled. what the fuck are you Silent. talking about? Miss Curator, what do you have to say? <laughs> so you're admitting that you stole the sherbet sculptures? No, I cannot admit to such a thing. Because it did not happen. There isn't any proof that I stole them at all. Also, I couldn't have stolen the sculptures 18 years ago. I was a baby. I don't think they would have been easy to steal without the police noticing. That is why this time I did not hire any police. It is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is that so? I don't know what you did 18 years ago. Case closed. <laughs> As such, how can I judge how difficult it would be to have been to steal? What kind of Responses. Well, I don't know how hard it would have been to steal them, so who is to say that you couldn't have stolen them? <laughs> they could have been someone on. Someone would educate me as to how. <laughs> Can you fucking imagine? If only someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't intend on giving up until I learn the ridiculous truth. I understand. And then I should tell you what I did 18 years ago. I sat on the couch and I ate some chips. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the day of the incident, I was waiting in the main building until the judging. I was looking at my phone. During the judging at Monsieur Master's request, I went to change the film in the camera. But before I could deliver the camera to him, I discovered Monsieur Dover's body. And I was like, eek! After Monsieur Gregory arrived, I prepared a tea for everyone involved in the investigation. It was said that I witnessed Monsieur Gustavia entering Mr. Dover's room. And that was everything I had done on that day. I don't think there is anything suspicious about my actions. But that's not your decision to make. Mr. Edgeworth, were there any contradictions in her testimony? Probably, I don't know. For now, I should just prove that she sold the sculptures. When could Miss Hall have stolen them? If I can answer that, her crime should come to light. <laughs> Well, strategy no. wiki. <laughs> For now, I should just prove that she stole the sculptures. I'll prove that she murdered JFK later. I'll get her for that one some other time. <laughs> Old Ray's been on the JFK case for oh. years. <laughs> oh, for some reason, my screen share is frozen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Okay. Oh, there it is. I, cool. I kind of moved right, it off screen so I could see the strategy wiki. That might do it. That might be why. All right. Well, I tried to save but time and now. it didn't work. Did you do so in the same manner as today? Yes. I am eating crackers again at the worst time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not a problem. Could I have one? Uncle Ray also got some tea from you that day. I could really use some tea to wash down these new crackers. Kate was pushing her service cart back and forth from the patio to the main building. She went into the bathroom to restock. I see. <laughs> Did anything seem strange to you then? Well, there was a big pile of poop on the cart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember your old man singing praises of his sale and tea. And he said something about the censor was chilled. The censor was chilled? Are you guys getting your soul sucked out in a vacuum? <laughs> <laughs> Could Miss Hall have <laughs> stolen the sculptures then? Mm, she stole them then. <laughs> this was when you stole the sherbet sculptures. I'm sorry, but Monsieur Shields and company were at the Fountain Patio the entire time. Are you saying that I stole them in broad daylight? Well, there's a fountain, so what I'm saying is you drain the fountain and push the statues to the other side. That's precisely what I'm saying. I'm wrong. This is where she hid the sculptures. To steal them right under their noses. I mean, it has to be the cart, right? Yeah. <laughs> the <No>. snowman! 
I don't know. Neither my father nor Mr. Shields realized the sculpture was right in front of them. That what you were pushing around was no ordinary service cart. It was the sculpture itself, and to ward away the curious, you pooped all over it. <laughs> it all comes together. Overruled. What the fuck? <laughs> so for anyone, for anyone who this is their first time hopping on, uh, there was a moment in the last stream where the chocolate in the CG on the cart she was pushing around looked like really suspect, so we started making jokes that it was poop, and the dialogue lined up way too well with it, so... And we were three years old. Oh, it, oh. it is Great. still... It is the hardest I have laughed, I think, in, like, the last ten years. My... My only regret was that my... I couldn't laugh loudly, so I was literally holding my nose. Oh my god. Myself. If she plays the sculptures on the service card, people would notice immediately. Objection! Under, you stupid bitch! I never said she used the service card to move the sculpture. You did, though. What? Oh, wait. Sorry, she was moving, so I thought she was talking. Then what did she use to move the sculptures around? This is what Miss Hall used to transport the sculptures. Uh, of course. Isn't it the water? She used the... She put the blowtorch on the back and then jetted off like a fucking <laughs> spaceship. Wait, what? Didn't Hang she on. use the waterways to float them? Hang on, I, I'm checking something. I'm confused. She used my badge. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, am I insane? Okay, uh, all right. Oh, that was, yeah, that makes sense. And this is... I don't know, but the walkthrough says it's right. This is the lift trolley Mr. Dover used 18 years ago to move his sherbet sculptures. It seems this same lift trolley lies here in the fountain patio. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just sensible. Yeah. I, I had to, like, read that four <laughs> times on the wiki because I thought it was saying present the push cart again that you just said it wasn't, Gosh. which would be a very Ace Attorney Investigations move. <laughs> so... It wasn't the push cart. It was the push cart. It was the smaller push cart underneath. That's because it was originally prepared for the contest in the first place. Are you saying she used the lift trolley to move the sculptures? Yes, I think that sounds plausible. What sorcery is this? Wheels? <laughs> Devilry! If the Devilry. sculptures were placed on this lift trolley and then covered with a tablecloth, it could have been disguised as a service cart. And why would you do this and moved around without arousing suspicion? Eh! <laughs> How could that be? So the sorcerers were chilled because they were sitting on the ice sculptures? Kate, what's the meaning of this? What were they thinking? That's a terrible way to have to escort a pr uh, priceless sculpture. That was truly impressive. <clears throat> you certainly are, Monsieur Gregory's son. After 18 years, it's hard to imagine any proof that I stole the sculptures remained. But I knew it was only a matter of time until I was suspected. I am the last character in this case. Be careful, can you fuck off? Yes, I can yes. fuck off. <laughs> 18 years ago, I saw the Shebet sculptures from Monsieur Dover's room. It's just as Monsieur Edgeworth says, I disguised the lift trolley as a service cart. And I served tea as I made my way back and forth. How? I still don't really understand how she pulled this off. The sculpture's the size of her, and she had to get it onto a cart. Yeah. Fucking heavy. It's made of she ice. Lifts, like, yeah. She that lifts. All. I also took the ice block with all the star clusters on it. Due to my high fiber diet, I am very strong. An ice block with star clusters on it. That seems familiar, I guess. It has, it has to be high fiber so that I poop off them. <laughs> that's that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> A giant block of ice is being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. No, the inside must be hollow. Dumb. Don't care. The Winter Palace is a reproduction of Mr. Dover's room from 18 years ago. Because they had melted, my father never got the chance to see them. 
but those blocks of ice were also originally from Miss, uh, from Dover's Shabed Salon. <laughs> <laughs> Two sculptures and the two blocks of ice. I took everything I could. Why? And then his life! And then I placed empty glass cases in Mr. Dover's room. The sculptures were all encased in glass to preserve their fine details. But the ice blocks were being displayed as they were. As per the rules, we prepared the glass cases for Mr. Dover. Hmm. So it would have been easy for her to prepare the glass cases. In Mr. Dover's room, there were some sculptures that were still unfinished. Why? I thought if I melted them, it would look like the ones I stole and melted too. I guess that's... Like, that part of the plan is good. The rest isn't. Covering some tracks that people wouldn't even have noticed. So everything you see in the Winter Palace are all original works from 18 years ago. Miss Hall, it didn't take much to get her to confess. <clears throat> then she must know. She knows it isn't enough to try her in court. What? Why not? She just confessed. That's all I have to say. I don't want to go to court. I'm allergic to gavels. But even she, though Courtney I Courtney sweats. Stealing, <laughs> stealing the sculptures, you can't arrest me for it. What? They belong to me now. <laughs> what? Did the Statue of Limit... <laughs> what? No, we we what? can. <laughs> Thievery is explicitly a crime. You're assisting an investigation without knowing this much? Perhaps you Stealing is legal book. now. <laughs> it's ABCs for dumbasses. Why are the you? Statue of limitations. Courtney, why are you like happy about this? This is not a good development for you. Statue of da data jotted down in my organizer. To put it simply, <laughs> um, it's the time frame in which a suspect can be taken to court. Oh. You can see mm. it on this page. What? Murder 15 years? Really? Yep. The statute of limitations for murder is 15 years, and for theft, it's 7 years. Ah! That's right. And Mr. Murder... I guess in fairness that... <laughs> Mr. Murder. No, sorry. I... <laughs> I guess in fairness that uh, that tracks with the original Ace Attorney game. That was like a plot point, so I guess they had to keep it consistent. That's right. And Mr. Hall's theft, whatever her name is, was 18 years ago. According to the statute, she cannot be arrested for stealing the sculptures. So that's how it is. Well, if you're good enough at crime, home. then you don't get arrested. Stealing evidence from a crime scene is an unforgivable offense. However... For this crime, at least, we have no right to pass judgment. It appears that Prosecutor Edgeworth's tepid reasoning has all been for naught. Isn't that fucking... <laughs> Why? Isn't that fucking sick, Edgeworth? Check Why it out, you... we can't prosecute her at all. Why are you happy about this? You're not winning! <laughs> Objection, fucking bitch! Fucking awesome, bro! Fucking sick! <laughs> are you crying? <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> I deduced Miss Hall's actions simply to expose a different crime. If she only took the sculptures, we wouldn't have found the body from 18 years ago. Hey, are you saying that I hid Monsieur Dover's body? That's correct. But how can someone hide a body for 18 years? I don't know. I would imagine it would be very difficult under normal circumstances. But this but is Ace her? Attorney! Yes! You're saying the circumstances weren't normal? You what catch, a fucking shock. You catch on very quickly, Kate. Okay, whoever are you, you are. Are you claiming that you know where the body was hidden? No. When you consider Miss Hall's actions, the answer becomes obvious. She had to get all that poop from somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. All right. <clears throat> 18 years ago. This <laughs> right. I have been pooping his body for 18 years. <laughs> the perfect crime. This is why nobody is surprised. The I was locked in the bedroom. <laughs> I just asked the motherfucker. Detective Gumshoe, I want you to gather all of her poop from the last 18 years. We should be able to okay, reassemble. Right. Already ahead of you, okay. sir. The body's been okay. assembled. 
Oh boy, are we gonna make me a brother, sir? What the hell? <laughs> no! <laughs> Poop Golem! <laughs> 18 years ago. <laughs> Miss Hall stole something more than just the sherbet sculptures. Oh my god. <laughs> I still need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Miss Hall hide the body? Allow me to test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Photograph of Mr. Dover's sculptures? Yes, and perhaps you've noticed the victim's body can be seen in this picture. I don't see it! Fuck off! <laughs> Where in this picture can you dab the film? That is a good ass question. Uh... Is he in the cloud? He's under the blankie! Oh man, man, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's the awful. Gemini sculpture. I looked. I was researching mummies for something once, and I got looking into like ice mummies. Never look up pictures of ice mummies. They are the scariest. You know, like you ever They're seen haunting. video games where like a camera clips through like the front third of somebody's face? Yeah. It's like yep. that in real life. It's so bad. Awful. At least bog bodies are like whole. Yeah, they're yeah. Uh there there was this really specifically awful picture of like one from an expedition in Antarctica mm -hmm. where they like they were like exploring a derelict ship that got frozen over and like opened up a thing and there was just an ice mummy staring back at them and I was like, I cannot imagine being more scared in my life than if that happened to me. Mm hmm In reality, this is none other than Isaac Dover himself. This, this ice sculpture was the victim's body? But all I can see from this picture is an ice sculpture statue. Objection, I'm making this up. That's because a certain piece of evidence was used to conceal it. Conceal it? Which piece of evidence did Miss Hall use to conceal the body? This is the cloth that was covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace? This cloth manipulates light. With it, it's entirely possible to make something look like ice. Rad, but dumb. Isn't that right, Delisha? Yes, see? When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. It's just like, what? Like, it's just I light. They're going for yet, like, yes, sir, isn't that? Yes, sir. But like, that's such a weird way to type it out. It really is. And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittery cool ice. Overruled. That cloth will only emit light when it's attached to a special device. Objection! Mr. Dover is a special that. device. Look closer with your special judge eyes. <laughs> Beneath <laughs> the Gemini case lies a box-shaped object attached to the depeda bar. <laughs> <laughs> a rainbow light device. Detective Gumshoe reported one in the Winter Palace. This is the device that went missing 18 years ago. Originally, it would have been attached to the cloth inside the glass case. Naturally, Miss Hole took the device with her when she moved the sculptures. Tap, tap. By using the rainbow light device to make the fluorescent cloth glow, Mr. Dover's body was made to look like an ice sculpture. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, lady. So then... <laughs> So then, when Uncle Ray took a photo of the Winter Palace... That's... Oh, uh, excuse me? Where? Oh, sorry. I had something in my throat. The Winter Palace? That's... I, I didn't even understand what you said. It was pronounced so weird. That's right. The body had been in front of us all along, disguised as Gemini. What are you However, hitting? the body and the fluorescent cloth were both discovered in the fountain. If the ice sculpture was the body, then we would have found it in the Winter Palace. Objection! You're right! <laughs> if we had found it in there, her trick would have been revealed immediately. Miss Hall moved the body out of the Winter Palace to prevent us from discovering it. Overruled. <laughs> Hold on, I'm loading. Absurd! You say she threw the body into the fountain without any of us noticing? No, Judge Courtney. There was no need for that. She simply used the same method as before. 
Remember the lift trolley? Uh, ah! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wheels, the devil's shape. She moved the body to some other room and dumped it into the st uh, into the stream to the fountain. Naturally, the frozen body would have sunk to the bottom of the. Fa what? Th th ice? That's not how that Wait, works. No, ice ice floats. Ice floaty. That's how. That's how the oceans work. <laughs> That's why the cloth floated up first and was found by Delicia. That's also why the Titanic, the world's most famous submarine, was felled by ice. <laughs> <laughs> it floated up! And eventually the body thawed out and floated to the surface. It did. Mr. Edgeworth, shut up. You truly have a gift for deductive reasoning. However, do you have any proof that I moved the body? Well, you left a trail of body juice. If you cannot prove that, then there is no way I can accept what you are saying. Hmm. Hmm. Wasn't there anyone who saw what Miss Hall was moving the body? Yes, I believe such a person exists. The answers lie in the evidence that person gave me. And that piece of evidence will reveal the truth of Miss Hall's actions. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you able to prove the crime of Miss Curator? Certainly. I have evidence that will show exactly what she did. Then, it's time we see your answer. Which piece of evidence reveals Miss Curator's actions? Oh my god, is it really? You just... oh. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's... Where is it? Am I crazy? I think, Here I think you were right with the... Yeah. It was the wrong sketch. Another sketch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weird, oh. there's a dead body in this drawing. It appears I have been drawn in this one. This is a sketch Larry drew of the women at the fountain patio. I would like to direct your attention to the service cart on the left side of the sketch. Service <clears throat> cart. Mm, that looks like a poop trolley to me. What about it? She disguised the service cart as a simple poop trolley so no one would be suspicious. Don't you see? What transpired 18 years ago has happened again. Miss Hall was moving the body in this sketch. No. Eh, uh, please wait. <laughs> I don't see Monsieur Dover's body anywhere in that drawing. I don't have extra vision. All I did was hand out chocolates to everyone. The key detail in this sketch is the color of the tablecloth. Very, maybe the worst indicated thing in this whole case, if I remember correctly. Up until yeah. now, I thought Larry had just made a mistake. The tablecloth? It's light blue. It may be light blue in the sketch, but no blue tablecloths exist in this mansion. What, you I know, I've checked the whole fucking thing. You haven't looked everywhere. Perhaps it's light blue because the body was hidden, still glowing beneath the tablecloth. What? 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 But the lift trolley is rectangular in the sketch. If she just placed the body in the lift trolley, we would notice it immediately. He was turned into a square. Well, <laughs> there were two blocks of ice in the Winter Palace that are completely well, hollowed out. Don't you know when you die, you become square? It's true. <laughs> my dad was a square. <laughs> I was Mr. born for... You're looking yeah. pretty square today. I was born in Minecraft. No, it is true. They told me when... <laughs> that explains the box they were burying. It was a dead box. <laughs> <laughs> if she put the body inside of the Hold block on, of let ice... let me finish my tea. It would look like a service cart. That's... Miss Hall, you put the body in the block of ice and used the lift trolley to move it, didn't you? I... I never imagined you would be able to deduce so much from just a single sketch. But what if it was just a mistake? Like you said before, it doesn't prove anything. Larry Butts is a dumbass. You know, he is a dumbass, but we keep him around because of his miraculous ability to sketch murders. Hmm. I disagree, but I can't remember if this is my voice or not when I'm Larry. Oh no, it's way worse than that. <clears throat> you have to remind me. I will, I hopefully he will. It was like way all over yeah, the place. Yeah, like, it's it like, was like way all over the, edge of the place. Oh, right. <laughs> I agree that alone, the sketch is worthless. <laughs> All right, dude, be a dick about it. Once you remove the body, the service cart would revert back into a lift trolley. 
That's why the lift trolley was left behind the fountain patio. And without the service cart, there would be no place for you to put your chocolates. The chocolates I gave everyone? I can't believe the chocolates are the crux of this case. <laughs> Until then, the chocolates had sat on top of the service cart as you gave them away. But when you gave them to us, you took them from your pocket. I they were ah, fresh. Now that you mention it, they were a bit melted. But they were still really sweet and tasty. <laughs> Fucking gross. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, go ahead. I, it was just, I ate a lot of sugar. <laughs> so why was it necessary to put them in your pocket halfway through? That's because... That's oh, because... Once the body was disposed of, you no longer had a service cart. Ah! Hold it right there. If she put the chocolates in her pocket and left the lift trolley in the patio, then where did the tablecloth go? If she had been forced to put the chocolates in her pocket, she wouldn't have had time to dispose of the tablecloth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, can you answer that for me? The tablecloth wasn't hidden. It was right in front of us. It was inside the chocolates. That's why Kay Didn't has been clarify. glowing every time she opens her mouth. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, I can do hand shadow puppets. Ooh. Say ah. Uh. Isn't it obvious? Miss Hall is carrying it with her out in the open. We have to vivisect her to re retrieve it. She's yeah. keeping it. Open. You mean... Miss Hall, you are made of tablecloth. You are wearing the <laughs> tablecloth around your waist. <laughs> the block of ice was not encased in a glass case. In other words, the tablecloth was in direct contact with the block of ice. If we have it examined, we will undoubtedly find traces of sherbet on it. Miss Hall, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. There's no need to examine the tablecloth. It is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delisha and I moved the body. Ah. <laughs> I have done... I have done terrible things. Don't make me sing. Don't do it. Yeah, I still don't really understand Madame her Delisha. motivations. I don't either. I am so sorry. One week ago, I took your megatoxin next bottle. It was so easy to steal from you. You are pathetic. I slipped it into that man's pocket to make it look like suicide. And if they suspected it was murder, the evidence would point to Madame Delicia. Hey! Katie! Kate! What were you thinking? <laughs> Weren't we always trying to save Mr. Master together? Forget about those 18 years where I just fucked around. <laughs> I not let myself be arrested. Not until I had proven Monsieur Master's innocence. Why? Why did you kill this guy? I still don't, I don't get know, it. Man. From the very beginning, I had no plan. I just, hey, whatever. How? What does this have to do with anything? You just murdered another dude for no reason. No. Oh, Maybe fuck, it makes it probably makes some iota of sense, but boy, are we so far removed from this. But I suppose it is too late to say that. Kate, why? Why would you go this far? Even for Mr. Shields, I have caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years, I have been a criminal! <laughs> this is... This is... God, I hate this. My greatest crime was stealing the Chebet sculptures from my own selfish interests. When Mr. Dover died, they were no longer just ordinary sculptures. They had become the final works of the sculptor Mr. Master so deeply loved. What if... What if they melted before Mr. Master returned? With that in mind, I couldn't let anyone touch them, not even the police. Even though I knew it was wrong, I moved them to the mansion's freezer. So you didn't However, kill the first guy? I only wanted to preserve Mr. Dover's art. I did not know his body was hidden among them. So she stole the sculpt. Well, how? You never noticed? Oh! Okay, so 
basically she fucked up the case being solved 18 years ago because she stole the sculptures so that Muncio Master could see them when he got out of prison, but then inadvertently made it so that he would stay in prison because the body was hidden in the I, sculpture and I thus get, they but couldn't like, prove I'm it. I'm still so confused about who did the first murder because we don't know. We're getting to find out. I guess. Um... You know what? No, I'm I'm still not okay with this because it wasn't like, like he got arrested and she was like, I must seal these right this instant <laughs> for years instead of going like, well, hopefully this will be resolved. I forgot how stupid this guy looked. Miss, Mr. Master would never take another person's life, but because of me, the body vanished and Mr. Master was found guilty. That guy, man, he treated someone like me as family. He meant more to me than anyone else, and yet... Kate. When Mr. Master was found guilty, I was chased out of this mansion. I was finally able to reclaim the mansion just a few days ago, but... When I saw the sculptures still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized... That I was the one who hid Mr. Dover's body. However... The Statute of Limitations had already expired. Therefore, I could think of no other way to atone for my seeds. Then, then what? You could have just told the police. It appears I have misunderstood her. She makes no sense. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you thinking about, Edgy? Boys. <coughs> yeah. There is one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Your... Kate, I have to... I have to say it, Kay. The key in your hair looks so dumb. Yeah, no. When I try to go through doors, it gets caught sometimes. Why don't, why don't you take it out? I haven't been able to undo my hair in ten years. Why would Miss... Ironically, Hall... the key is the one thing keeping it together. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And the reason she just Why did she kill this new guy? I don't get it. And the reason she disguised the Autumn Palace to look like the Winter Palace was to make those involved in the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms. I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. The end. She was trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence. In that case... Miss Hall's true objective was probably this, right? Yeah. Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit. Which would have been much easier had she just explained things to police, since she would have had no problem with that since the statute of limitations was up. Were you trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence? You wanted to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. Just show it to them, you idiot! Was that not your true goal? By displaying those sculptures, you'd attract those involved in the past incident. Only two people would know where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. The culprit would have panicked, knowing that the body would be displayed publicly. Yes. And if the culprit really showed up, there's a risk they'd erase their tracks. In the worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. So, how could she protect the evidence while simultaneously luring the, in the culprit? But why the fuck would she care? He's also past the statue of limit. He can't yep. be arrested anymore. Yep. Oh, I guess she just wanted to murder him or something. Okay. I, I guess. I see. That's why she... Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> yes. And then... <clears throat> Miss Hall, you must have thought, whoever opens the Pisces case, believing it to be the Gemini case, must be the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. Right. Oh, that's almost oh, a good twist. That's why, that's why this guy's dead, right. But that means that person is the true culprit? This is oh, dumb. Please wait a moment. Hold, hold on. Edward, do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the IS-7 incident? Well, they're dead, so yeah. Miss Hall was trying to trap the true culprit. If so, wouldn't the person who fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. 
If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end well. Should I announce the true killer of Isaac Dover? Nah. <laughs> what I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there is no need to hesitate. Yes, that's correct. Judge Courtney. I indict this person as the true culprit behind the IS-7 incident. It's fucking- it's this guy, right? He's the one who died? Yeah. I can't believe it! It was me! They sheriff! Dane Gustavia, who fell victim to the poison gas, is the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. Gustias! Mr. Gustavia. Miss Hall. Didn't you believe that if you open this gallery, the true culprit would come? That's why you set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. Well, it's all about the chess metaphors. Eh? <laughs> it is as you say, Mr. Ashworth. Now. Now, would you... Oh, that is you. I am sorry. It is fine. Would you please tell us the whole truth? Yes, I have nothing more to hide. I will run away, tell you everything. Oh no, we can't catch her. Her Sonic the Hedgehog hair makes her too fast. <laughs> I trap in the gallery to find the two culprit. Before the gallery opened, I left only the Autumn Palace alone. At opening time, when I went around to unlock each room, I discovered that the Autumn Palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the true culprit was on the other side of the door. My hand was... Trembling. All that was left was for the trap to do its work. <clears throat> when I heard Mr. Gustavio was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. And I thought that if the police discovered Mr. Dover's body, it would prove Mr. Master's innocence. Why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know that you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. What I am saying is you are useless. However, I don't really like you. All of this has been brought on by my own crime. That's why I wanted to save Monsieur Master as soon as possible. By doing it in this weird way. Kate, that's so fucking dumb. I know, I know. Not only that, the police said the fact that the body went missing 18 years ago. Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. So that's why I caused the incident at the museum's opening, with as many witnesses as possible. Oh, whoa, I look weird without my fucking head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. I'm just not used to it. It's not necessarily bad. It's just like, it what? Like Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you, I couldn't protect anyone. Yep. Mr. Shields, it must be tough on him as well. <laughs> the one who should be apologizing is me. Because I'm stupid. Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Shields, I'm terribly sorry. Camera zooms out. Delicia, the true murderer, is tiptoeing away. <laughs> <laughs> I shall accept whatever punishment I am given. However, I must ask of you. Please, clear me your master's name. Nah. The truth, oh, the truth that was hidden for 18 years was revealed in an unexpected manner. However, to think that things would end this way. Oh well. To be continued, yeah. the longest case. Let's, let's finish this. We're walkthroughing, so it shouldn't take that long. Yeah. What, oops. I forgot that Z is B. Let's save twice in case I do that thing where I load instead of save. Larry, why are you still here? <laughs> Pretty girls. <laughs> Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> what you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. Yes, I know. However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to investigate. No! No! No false evidence from the IS-7 incident remains in the official case files. 
Moreover, there is no evidence to lend credence to Miss Hall's testimony. She just confessed, dude. <laughs> but I'm here to be difficult. Come on. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. We cannot be certain that all this case there be be boo. Take that. After all, the prosecutor in, the prosecutor in the case has a history of forging evidence. You right. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooked such a prosecutor? Bitch, yeah. <laughs> That's none of my concern. The truth is that the evidence was falsified. And the fact that Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I can see the remnants of Prosecutor Von Karma within you. Yeah, I had to use some of his gears when I... We, we couldn't make it to the store, my arm wasn't working, I couldn't point, and I couldn't win any cases. What did you say? You tried to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. I'm sorry, let did you literally just say there's no way you could have possibly let a uh, falsifying prosecutor through, and then when I said you were wrong, you immediately compared me to a prosecutor who you knew falsified evidence, who was the one I just accused you of? <sighs> yeah. Ch fucking checkmate. Die in a ditch. Oh, Jello's oh. using chess metaphors. No! Oh my god, this game has ruined me! <laughs> <laughs> I, I am become that prosecutor Von Car Listen, we're just gonna talk smack about Von Karma out here for a good minute. Alright, I'm fine Von Karma that. fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. Why? She even attempted to murder Mr. Kusavia today in order to pin the blame on him. Why? The statute of limitations was up. Is that really what the PIC believes? Man, I hate comedy these days. Everyone's so PIC. <laughs> yes, every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. Well, you're clearly the final boss, so doubt. It seems she intends to hide the truth for the sake of the pick. At this rate, neither Mr. Master nor Mr. Hall will be saved. Yeah, well, okay. well she's screwed. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Hold it. If she wanted to pin the crime on somebody, why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was the criminal, as he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine. He was caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. What? Caught in a trap. Can you prove that theory, or are you just saying words? Words, 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 words. Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it, unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there is nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clear explanation. Okay. Uh, oh, am I supposed to read that out? No, sorry. I mean, it is new, but I'm looking at the guide. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Blobly blue, I mean, I guess. By ample evidence, do you mean ample evidence? For the IS incident, blah, 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 blah. For the poison gas incident, we have two chemicals and Miss Hall's confession. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all the evidence necessary. For your own PIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? How, how can you say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you're always welcome to join the Edgeworth thought there, bear. Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask that you refrain from making such needless remarks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I understand. Well, regardless. <sighs> <sighs>
tippity tappity. There is still one piece of evidence from the IS-7 incident that remains unsettled. Take a look at this. This is... This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Who does this blood belong to? Until we know the answer, the case is still open! Let it end! There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. Mm -hmm. I heard nothing of this from Sebastien. What? What? Why do you think that is, Courtney? Why yeah, do you think right. you might have yeah. missed something if you? Sorry, that's my bad. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Just from the other room, guys, I fell down and can't figure out how my legs work. <laughs> <laughs> This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself, but you told him to go away. So, even though you had no investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I don't care. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to, o if you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But, in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. You are not really in a position to be making that demand, but all right. No. <laughs> it's not my place to decide such things. I must ask that you check with Sebastien regarding this matter. Guys? Hey, good news, you guys. I figured out how to stand up. I was faking it. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. Mr. Gustavia! So he's alive. I said that like walking. <laughs> Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. Mm -hmm. You are science assistant, are you not? <laughs> You've grown so big. This time, this one is your assistant then. Well, it's gonna. Uh, no, I'm. He he he! He's an assistant candidate and Gregory Edgeworth's son. I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. <clears throat> what a twist of fate! I am in your debt! It is thanks to you that I have completely recovered. <laughs> There's no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 Did you kill years that guy? ago. Did you do it? <laughs> What do you speak of? While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You might be Isaac Dover's murderer. <laughs> what? Really? Shut up, the best. Miss Hall was look. It's fun because Edgeworth is like the most stoic, boring voice I have, and then the other two characters are like as wacky and annoying as possible. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Edgeworth's dad is my most stoic voice. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. <laughs> Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. <laughs> so you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have. Meditation is different from sleeping, though. <laughs> Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. Nimp! <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap? That's not a very funny joke. I'm a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not you are the criminal. Oh, I wonder, can I like, can I make that voice older? Oh God! <laughs> I will try. This is only their baseless assumption. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of a prosecutor without jurisdiction. <laughs> At least there is one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I am a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edgeworth the truth of 18 years ago. Mm. Kill him! Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Judge Courtney, 
Is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can be brought to light? I merely believe the judgments of the Goddess of Law. What the fuck are you talking about? Ultimately, those who render judgment are only human. As long as humans control the law, there is no guarantee that every verdict is correct. I, I'm walking proof of that. <laughs> if you are going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. I will use the Edgeworth family bloodline technique. He takes <laughs> out a gun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justine, what should I do now? You are being suspected because you set off the poison gas. Can you tell us the reason? Why you open the Pisces case? Understood. I wanted to lick. <laughs> I came to see Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. What? <laughs> Miss Hall, there was nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, I had no security guards in place, so I didn't even lock the doors. I was very stupid and busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the open one. I see. This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the Autumn Palace. Which is why he ended up entering the Autumn Palace. Cool translation. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. The gallery should remain silent unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false. I will not allow any objections. Gallery? This isn't even a courtroom! Now then... Why did you open the Pisces case? I wish to view Sir Dover's handiwork up close. The Gemini sculpture. No, it is actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed a burner to open it. As one does. But as I... You... What, like, what about this is acceptable even if he's not the murderer? Yeah, right? <laughs> I just wanted to take a closer look at this priceless oil painting, so I broke in. So I took a fucking... I took a nearby paring knife and cut off the painting, and then there was and poison gas. Who could blame me? But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. That's quite a convenient testimony. It sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? No. There are parts of Mr. Gustavia's testimony that I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. <laughs> Would it not make sense for suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself? She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Kate turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you are her only target. You, you are willing to accept the words of this criminal as the truth? Miss Hall must have <laughs> such a bad voice that <laughs> <laughs> Must atone for her crimes. However, the same can be said for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, it seems you wish to suspect me to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Dover. His fucking mouth flaps are, like, so big half the time. If there is no evidence to suggest that I killed him, you cannot say- You know what this voice is? It's turning into Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, can't you prove that Mr. Gustavia is the criminal? All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. That's... Mr. Shields, is there anything we can- Well, if there isn't any evidence, we should try reorganizing the facts. I really That's thought I was gonna say, if there isn't evidence. any- If there isn't any evidence, we should make some evidence. Yeah! <laughs> if Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover, then there must have been a motive. Motive. Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. Logic. It's not easy to take another person's life. 18 years ago, your old man also discussed motive with Prosecutor Von Karma. Why would you do? You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? 
if Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dober's relationship had turned sour, wag, wag, could serve as a motive for murder. <clears throat> yeah, but that's, like, that's <clears throat> totally just speculative. We couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavia 18 years ago, but this time things are different. If we connect everything we've learned so far, the truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. It seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that I have... that have remained unexplained. Oh shit, it's bad! So, the gloved finger marks on the picture frame was your doing? Delicia denied leaving the finger marks on the frame. If they were left by Mr. Gustavia, he may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. You I'm said it wrong! Dog. Did I? It's fingies! Oh, I, I thought you meant the angel. I, I forgot the word fingerprints was even there. His fingers. <laughs> I did say it wrong, my bad. Monsieur Master asked me to change the film in the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film? It seemed the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film he made. Well, he told me himself that it might have been just a mistake, though. The information my father collected 18 years ago was certainly not for naught. If there is no evidence, then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. Beep bitty boop bitty bitty beep. Nope, there he goes again. His eyes are blue screening. Thinking. I'm gonna go get rid of my dishes. Thinking. Thinking. If Whoa, he had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe, he wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. I, do you want to take he'd her? Stolen the actual, I think, yeah. If he'd stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found out. I see. Pictures, eh? The problem is that the time at which... Uh, the problem is the time at which he entered Mr. Master's room. Mr. Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seems both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. If I sip, remember... Sip. sip, sip. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Mr. Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen, as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. Can I take Von Karma in future, just because I have, like, two characters? Yeah. Oh, sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> was Master's de uh, was Master's desserts all... Th that's not correct grammar. Was Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually... After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. What the fuck? After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, then there is a high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. Before afternoon sippy. I mean, are these not, like, automatically together? Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim Isaac Dover to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems you know about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handed the design, handled the design while you were in charge of the taste. Is that correct? Mm, back then my training had been insufficient. It seemed you worked together through the semifinals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wished to compete in the finals against Sir Master on our own merits. Objection. Objection! You must have also helped with Isaac Dover's dessert even during the finals. <laughs> what makes you able to declare something like that? Wow, this is really just two fishers. <laughs> Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself, 18 years ago? That you cooperated until the day before the finals? The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. <clears throat> That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. 
Then, why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? The views of the dead are of no concern to me. You are a prosecutor. They I don't should. give a fuck. Oh, God! <laughs> I kick over gravestones in my free time. In my backyard, with all of my enemies I've buried. Why did Isaac... Uh, th that's the wrong voice. Why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? <laughs> Is there a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down? That would be a motive for murder? <laughs> That could be a possibility. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? Oh, that's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Sir Master's room. I couldn't have killed ah. Sir Dover while Sir Master was also there making his desserts. Maybe he was just super chill about it. Maybe he was like, yeah, murder, go for it. Maybe he was busy singing a song and looking the other direction. In other words, <laughs> there is no way I could have committed the murder. I stabbed rhythmically to keep him singing to the <laughs> That's not true. If there was a moment when Mr. Master was absent from the room, I could prove that it was possible for Mr. Gustavia to commit the murder. Logic, logic, logic. Afternoon, Sippy. Time of the murders. Looks like the Sippy has been your down Fippy. <laughs> Isaac Dover was alive up until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Mr. Gustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? Obviously not. Because I am finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show that the that, that No, there is no need to present any evidence. Bloodline technique! Since we have Mr. Goose- Tap tap! <laughs> Since we- yeah, that's how he activates the gun. It just comes out of one of his eyes. Since we ha can have- uh, uh, wow. Alright. <laughs> Words. Ah, so this is where you use that, right? That's <laughs> right. The bloodline technique. Indeed. <laughs> Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing I want you to tell me. Did you do the murder? I said, Mr. Gustavia, there is one thing you want. I want you to tell me. Oh, sorry, I did not hear. No, what is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I wanted to compete for the title of world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. Objection, you suck, though. If that were truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac Dover. Tap, tap. Sip, sip. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. This crap. All right, hang on. Well, I missed that. Whatever. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? That is what I need to draw out from him. But... Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. It seems he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. First, I'll ask about why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Logic chess, begin! Ding, 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 ding. Why did you decide to collaborate with Mr. Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances, but even, uh, even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. <laughs> Joining forces with the sculptor. You weren't confident in your own abilities? You know nothing about me! We wanted to make great works together! Sir Dover's son and my own attended- Oh, you're right, you were right, Siv. Attended the same elementary school. My son, Perry per the Platypus! We got along well from the start. Really? So? Were you going to share the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef together? Two chefs chilling in the freezer. 
As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way, which, had I not been using a walkthrough, I would have read as a you-should-use-wait-and-see at this moment, but okay. Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I doubt he had any interest in the title of world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did his true goal lie? <laughs> Indeed, my goal was the title of world's greatest pastry chef. However... Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. I see. You cooperated because your interests were aligned. But there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you are going to suspect me in this manner, perhaps I'd better give you some of the poison. <laughs> Wait a moment. In that case, you should end things soon. I might walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate, I'm just leaving. <laughs> I am not a patient man. It seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. Fun, fun fact, if you walk out of court, they can't prosecute you. <laughs> they have to let you leave. <laughs> I need to keep the pressure on him while being cautious of the time. Didn't you have another goal besides the title? The title alone doesn't seem to have much value. <laughs> How dare the likes of you insult the, insult the title of a confectionery artist? My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Eighteen years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh, are you saying you've improved at your craft? I would hope so. Exactly, for I have trained at the Republic of Zheng Fa. <laughs> yes, yes, at the time I also studied Mr. Master's works. I will often watch his show in my son. So, you were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest. Was I just listening to a demon? What has happened? <laughs> perhaps. To a pastry chef, Sir Master's recipes. I hope I'm not peeking. I haven't checked. <laughs> well, their weight in gold. If becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal, you should have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. <laughs> the recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The angel's recipe, his true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. And for all of and all of the contests participants should have been aware oh of god. that. Oh my god, does his son have an illness? Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> oh, well be careful with that one when you say it out loud. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. I thought he meditated when you were getting close. Hate this game. Now to slowly but surely drive him into a corner. Next, I'll ask why he uh, planned to what recipes. Recipes. Hey Edgeworth, could you speed this up? This chess landscape doesn't have any toilets in it. <laughs> I want to make some chocolates. I want. I want some of Kate's chocolates. <laughs> what? what? I'm sorry. Were you going to ask me to go to the bathroom to make chocolates? <laughs> Listen. Silly question. <laughs> it contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any pastry chef worth their salt would want it. Delicia pops up. Salt is made of sodium and chloride. <laughs> Seems I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Why fucking... Okay, if you're just going to start with two hallways and like you can just pick the wrong one, why give me either of them? Did you intend to use the angel's recipe? to make desserts? <laughs> of course, if I obtain the angel's recipe, I was going to use it in my training. I hear the angel's <laughs> recipe is worth a lot of money. 
I don't know the exact details, but that recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. You seem to know a lot about the book. <laughs> It was explained to the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. Hmm. In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. That it was not a recipe book for desserts at all. <coughs> Impressive, sir, prosecutor. So you know the true nature of the angel's recipe. The angel's recipe. Some <laughs> 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 called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. A ridiculous and pointless thing to have. He knew the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. Um. The Angel's Recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question, blah! Looks like that clue will come in handy, I say out loud. You may have studied design in Zheng Fa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. You just said earlier that the angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. <laughs> I'm going to throw this at your head. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps what you were really after was the information about the new medicine. Aim for the temple! Ah, you missed. <laughs> you missed, pal. Yeah, Margot. <clears throat> I've underestimated you, sir, prosecutor. Time to use my ultimate technique, walking away. Yes, my goal was more than the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. Now he is a dead body, but I have preserved him in an ice sculpture. <laughs> he is in the other sculpture. What the fuck? Meanwhile, Mr. <laughs> Masters is just like, I just wanted to do a fucking pastry contest. <laughs> <laughs> now at, I'm in prison. At the time, my son was ill. I needed a recipe for the medicine. Your son was ill? What a loser. Tell me more about that. <laughs> To protect my son's honor, I can say no more. <laughs> what? Hey, I'll be back. <laughs> mm, judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next time, I need to tell him. Uh, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. That's it. This will be my final move of the game. Oh, thank God! I drank like a liter of water from the fountain earlier. Oh, do you want to make some tea? <laughs> <laughs> sip, sip. Gross. What kind of person was your son? Real insensitive question. Ah, oh, my boy! He died in his own shape, Did you enter oh, the, the demon's back. Uh, did you enter the contest solely for your son? Sir Prosecutor, you could never understand the feelings a father has for his son. I wanted nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. I doubt that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rude. God, oh my god, the, I, I can see the answers. They're so mean. Um, until the semifinals, my son would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said that he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. <laughs> Will said, care for some tea and dump pits. <laughs> That's the willest thing I can imagine. <laughs> About your son. If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult to cut? What the fuck is the what problem, the fuck, Andrew? What? Andrew, what the fuck? <laughs> wouldn't it be difficult? To... I, I think he was faking it. I don't think he was sick at all. My son's illness. It wasn't life-threatening. He had a cold. <laughs> hmm. That might serve as a clue. Edgeworth, I'm straight up evacuing this teapot, and that is fucked up. Straight up what? Abacchio. Oh, I, th I heard evacuating. 
<laughs> That's what I call my bladder and my teapot. I evacuated. Do the angel's God. recipe have the only cure? Yes. Though the medicine is being sold everywhere now, at the time the recipe book was my, sorry, the recipe book was my only true option. That's why I continued making my desserts without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making. You sure seem confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Master's works. In addition, if your goal was to win the con uh, in the contest in order to get the medicine's formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' answers as well. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but none of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. Oh, so he had that, he ate that medicine or whatever that removes oh, flavor. Alright, right, what did I miss? Nothing? Okay. Nothing, yeah. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. So everything he ate tasted flavorless. This could be a useful clue. Yeah, you just missed bad pee jokes, it's fine. Oh, of course. What was the name of your son's illness? Illness disease! <laughs> Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive! I don't, I don't yeah. Think, I don't think that is insensitive. Actually, just being like, oh, what, yeah. What, what's what's wrong with him? What? Because it's a it's a commonly curable disease now. Apparently, my son was seriously ill. I will not be discussing this with the likes of you. He was so ill, dude. Really That's ill. Really bad. He had like sickness. I, there was a germ in him. It was bad. <laughs> he had like six diseases. I mean, I was counting. Rude! So rude! You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? It was genital herpes! Oh, you know what? All right. <laughs> you take... It was my secret <laughs> There was a horrible episode of Kids Next Door kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> what? One of them got genital herpes. No, it, it was like a it was like a film noir themed thing about like, basically a guy was going around with a gun that shot you with pink eye, and like the big the twist at the end was that the secret, that like the school nurse was doing it because she had this like horrible apple crumble that was made of pink eye crusties. It was really gross. <laughs> What the fuck? That that might as well be. Holy fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! I was about to make I was about to make a fucking joke of like Kids Next Door Genital Herpes Edition, but that is actually fucking terrible. Oh. My God. Kids Next Door was like had so much fun with its concepts and did really fun things, but like was so gross half the time. <laughs> yeah, it it did have a lot of gross out humor. <laughs> It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. Well, I can't imagine that as a robot. That must have been difficult. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loves so much. Then why did he want to eat them? He, he was a true friend! <laughs> I'm, hang on, I'm sorry. I have to save Scum. <laughs> <laughs> I will reveal- Oh, come on! You're not gonna give me dialogue for that? Alright, fuck you. Oh, that would have been glorious. The angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. What? He had it too? He had it too. I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. Ningu! I didn't think you'd figure it out so quickly. In order to cure your son's taste disorder, why are you being secretive about this? You needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? Nip. It is as you say. Based on how he acted up until now, it appears he's still hiding something. It looks like that clue will come in handy. Being unable to taste anything regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. Not that you would know. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? 
Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. <laughs> it's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself. Rude! <laughs> That's completely ludicrous! Eighteen years ago, I made those desserts all by myself! Did you collaborate with Mr. Topher? It seems you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made the desserts all by yourself. <coughs> you must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef, but to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant. You did it all to cure your own disease. Why? What a weird... Why give him this motivation? Isn't curing his son's disease enough? Well done, sir prosecutor. It is as you say. Bad guy, though. The one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I! No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. My dick. <laughs> Do you suck? <laughs> That's a bad <laughs> joke. That's... It's, we're in that headspace, it seems. <laughs> Dane Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for the new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover, most likely, to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. Yeah, actually, why, why would they be mad at each other? He could just get the cure and then give the other guy the book. And with that... Yeah, you can just write it down. <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> that one hurt, didn't it, Jello? Yeah, hey. Logic chess complete. All right, and I'll sign here. Is that all I need for the purchase order, Kate? <laughs> I have never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? It was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder. Mr. Master's condition is known as hypogenesia. <laughs> it's, it simply causes a decreased sensitivity to certain specific flavors. I'm sure it has caused Sir Master much pain too. After all, no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's Angel's recipe. And that's why you entered the contest. Am I correct? That was one of my goals. But I still had my sights set on the title of World's Greatest. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. Even with the oh, ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh. God, I hate that. <laughs> so I presume you prepare your dessert. The f uh, in the finals with the intent to win. No, I wanted to lose. Yes, you fucking pipsqueak. <laughs> According to what Mr. Shields told us earlier, the evaluation was very mean. Was <laughs> Mr. Gustavia's entry was? I don't remember who voted Savvy. I think. <clears throat> I'll go, I'll go with it. Yeah. Up until the semi-finals, Mr. <laughs> Gustavia's flavors and designs were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals left much to be desired. It seems the dessert you made for the finals was not rated highly in regards to flavor. <clears throat> Mr. Gustavia, you will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. It seems I must teach you upstarts a lesson. Sir Dover and I cooperated up until the finals. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is the truth of 18 years ago. Oh, I can't find any contradiction in his testimony. Well, well of course... 
<laughs> well, of course she isn't. Gonna... <laughs> of course she isn't gonna fess up. This guy's been on the run for eighteen years, after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, huh? Yes. Like an egg under my thumb. Like garlic under a knife. Why? Why would you crack an egg with your thumb? Like Chuck in the chocolates between my teeth. <laughs> Patrick Warburton. Has he always had that weird tattoo on his hand? Oh yeah, it's a seahorse. He's had that the whole time. Oh. Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Mm, nothing of this sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. Have you ever seen Great British Bake Off? You know how sometimes they nail it in the first two rounds and it's like, oh, that was a bad showstopper. Kind of like that. My intuition must have been Great British Bake Off. That's all. Then, was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? Hmm, <clears throat> we're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change oh, the sorry. topic? <laughs> I thought you were a wife. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I was looking at chat. Uh... Do this one. So, you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating during the finals, there wasn't much different, you know? Yeah. I'm trying not to sneeze too loudly. Oh boy. Well, this kid is cute. Yeah. Objection! Objection! Your stupid, okay. not ill son was there. Dude. There was another difference between the semifinals and finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit you up until the finals. <sighs> that is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then it was only the finals that your flavor was judged poorly. Oh, is the sun the master chef? Oh my god. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. <clears throat> tap, tap. Your son's visits must have been very important to you, were they not? <clears throat> a father can work miracles when his son is watching! With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustavia sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? No. <laughs> if what he was saying on the whole... <laughs> I was gonna make like a... Not that you'd know, Kate, given your dead dad and all, Joe. <laughs> oh, <you're dead. laughs> I forgot about that. Everyone's dad is dead. It's fine. If High what five! He... High five. Another human concept I need to learn. <laughs> I love. <laughs> Edgeworth didn't reciprocate. He just got slapped. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm picturing Kate like high, fu just flat palming his forehead. <laughs> if, I must still learn. If what he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of his desserts. A confectioner, confident in his sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. Your son came to cheer you on. Was that really all he did? You seem very doubtful, Sir Prosecutor. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you! Did my son come to show up? What else could my elementary school son have done besides cheer me on? I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course, my son always loved my desserts! In that case, he would have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Earlier, you told us that you have a taste disorder. <laughs> I've never told this to any yes, yes, we remember. This was ten minutes ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. 
After all, you were in charge of the flavor. Well, I mean, like, you would have still been partnered if it was his kid. Like, you would still need his cooperation. Your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your desserts tasted correct. Which is... I don't know, I feel like after the dirt... Like, if, how long did they have to make the dessert? Did they have a whole day? He would have yeah, needed to, like, re... <laughs> He's ah, I, his see, ma. I see the hell mouth is open. Mr. Dover's desserts was made the day before, so it still tasted good. <laughs> oh, God! Mm. It's coming for me. What you are saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. You're saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you say that my Can't elementary school son assisted me as a taste tester? You are insulting my pride. Your pride? It's true, I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son? I think it's kind of cute, honestly. Yeah. Don't get carried away with your foolish Dad, conjecture, Dad. you upstart. Mm. I prefer <laughs> start up, you know, like a computer. You start up, <laughs> you small business owned by friends who just graduated college. You tech fool! In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm if my theory is mere conjecture. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. You I, ate I, him? I, what? <laughs> I ate him. He's in my belly. After my taste disorder was cured, I went to the train in Zheng Fai immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son. Why? <laughs> He's dead, right? He's totally dead. Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. Is the son the dead guy? Wasn't it just like a oh. Randy? The police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any traces of him. You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try. Of course, he's been hiding his son under that hat. <laughs> Desserts are the only things that are important to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. What? <laughs> what? Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sending you to jail. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, they're not illegal. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Oh my god, Will. <laughs> Why did you enter the competition? To taste my abilities. Yeah, good joke, Will. Will, you're so funny. Will, you can be in here if you want. Or... Yeah, you can be I in here. I take that! Oh, oh, right. I forgot you're on his computers. <laughs> oh. right. I'm sorry, Siv. You are very funny. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, Will, if you want to join, you can. After all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories. Jesus Christ. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? Uh, I this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Detective Gumshoe, I miss him so much. Were those results? <laughs> I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked the forensic to look into it, so... Right. I'll leave it to you, Detective. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence, which you think would be a bad idea, but really turns out kind of phenomenal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If only I knew who that blood belonged to. Miles. Bloody. There's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. I got this itch on my back. <laughs> I'm Could sorry, I can't lift my arm. I'm a robot. Was it, that's because I disabled it. Was Mr. Gustavia's only reason for coming back to the art gallery to check on the body? Hmm. If he only wanted to confirm, I want. Is this gonna be like I fucking I wanted my son to taste my desserts again, so I abandoned him for hey, eighteen. Oh, guys, what if the kid got frozen eighteen years ago? What the fuck? I think the kid is like the random guy who was just an adult who got killed at the start of this. I don't even remember that guy. Yeah, exactly. He wasn't a character. Like, I'm not crazy, right? It was, like, profiles. I... Yeah, because, like, who died in this case? They're not even on here. This guy I was dead. I think it was his body. They found it again. No, it was... This was... Oh. Oh. What? All right. Yeah, it's hard to remember. 
That's right. Is there a way we can prove this? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. He's huffing it up the road. Prosecutor Edgeworth, <laughs> what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting, sir. I fucking love Gumshoe. Huh? <laughs> just the is person I was talking truck? about. Beep, beep. <laughs> they, call, they call me Truck Gruck. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results? Nope, I dropped them. I ate them. <laughs> of course, mouth? sir. God, you I know just who... got the report back from the lab. He has the same mouth as Crusher from Epithet Erase, the bonsai master who has the big <laughs> fucking underbite. I just heard of this guy called Giovanni Potage. Detective, please be silent. <laughs> so, this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edgeworth was talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? This is the first time I've heard of it! Um... This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene! Mr. DeBest, I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but how about we hear his report first? Um, sure. <laughs> 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 Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? I don't know. Here's the report, sir. The traces of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belong to. The, I said that weird. To the victim of the to the victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavi. What are you saying? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. You handsome rock. As I thought, my theory was correct. You gypsum man. <laughs> you alabaster boy. <laughs> you you marvel marble. <sighs> Me too would like an explanation. What on earth does this bloody prove? <coughs> the bloody this the bloody room. is something that the culprit of the IS-7 incident tried to conceal. I, it can't be! That's... I mean, not that I'd know anything about that. <laughs> this bloody was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. Overruled! Mr. Gustavia's blood... Shh, shh, shh. If you intend to remain silent, then I'll reveal the truth <laughs> myself. If the Gemini case, aside from the blood, oh, in the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood. No, salt and sugar. Salt and blood. No. <laughs> do you do you not know what sugar is? What do you think this contest is? Something very macabre. I don't understand. Why Should I, I reset a brain, it? sir? It's a shame they have to kill someone every time they want to make a cake. What a horrible job. And the only one, <laughs> and only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. Come to think of it, I remember Miss Delicious saying the same thing 18 years ago. Human alchemy. <laughs> oh, yes, he, his sherbet was the most delicious. Really? Really? Oh, wait. I wish I could have eaten. Oh, this is young no, way. No, really? Yeah. I wished I could have eaten some too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty. Bloody. Sweet. It's right here in this photo. It was part of that liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Exactly. For some reason, salt had been mixed into the liar. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain where did the salt detected in the liar come from? This bag of salt. That wasn't a joke. That was not a joke, Sav. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, sorry. This is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the IS-7 incident. I see I'm not the only robot. I believe this <laughs> rock salt lamp was mixed in with the sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, these were two rock salt lamp. Wah, boo, 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 boo. There were two lamps. One of Can these get lamps. Some batteries in here, please. <laughs> One of these two lamps took Mr. Dover's life. Oh. 
Oh, it is just like the box they were burying that day. <laughs> <laughs> Though that box probably didn't have a body in it, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> we know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderous lamp. However, there were no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene in Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed... Because the ki oh, sorry. Because the killer disposed... It's cool. Disposed of the desserts with traces of blood into the streams of water, right? I think they make a... I think you should go to the doctor for that. <laughs> no other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. Spe speaking of which, weren't the two rock salt lamps found in Miss Delicious's room also broken? It looks like both of the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both, <clears throat> both their light bulbs are broken. Thanks. <laughs> maybe they were, maybe they were dropped on the floor. We never did figure out why the other rock salt lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavia's blood was on the other lamp. They're just fighting with two uh. lamps trying to bludgeon each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> like some fucking Conan shit. Oh, just fucking cavemen. Duel, duel of the Fates playing while they fucking <laughs> smack. <laughs> <laughs> If your blood was found on the lamps at the crime scenes, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me he concealed it in the Sherbert Liar. What a weird thing to do. Exactly. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the... Why would you do this? Jesus Christ, do... Let's Oh. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. <clears throat> then the reason Mr. Gustavia came to this gallery... Eighteen years ago, the body... Why does he care? The statute of limitations is up! Uh, the body and the evidence pointing to the killer were both stolen. Even if the killer could not have anticipated that, there was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery's grand opening. No. Dane Gustavia. Oh, Isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. <laughs> Monsieur Gustavia, you're the reason Monsieur Master is... <laughs> Mr. Gustavia, you're scaring me! Could it be? After all this time, my crime is finally brought to light! The prosecutors and defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. Bravo! Bravo! Well done, sir, prosecutor! So you admit yeah. that you killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> it is true. I killed Isaac Dover. But he had only himself to blame. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Dover and I worked together. I know this. Wow, this feels like a fucking relax. That feels like tensing your body and then like untensing it after five minutes. <laughs> Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back, which I mopped up with my chef's hat, which is why it is red now. Sir Dover, this isn't what we agreed to. <laughs> what? But I made your desserts for you. I'm the reason you got this far. He always talked from inside that box. <laughs> Dover, you... You were planning to betray me all along. Because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make... I don't... Fucking... What an asshole, not letting him take a picture of one page of this thing. I was forced to make the finals entry on my own. It's just as the prosecutor said. My son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? I fucking lied, asshole. A proud chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. 
That's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert may, uh, mastering the art of dessert making is my only reason for being. It is my one and only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride. That's another feeling I will never understand. To say nothing of abandoning your own son. Such a thought disgusts me. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. Goodbye, son! Now do you understand? <laughs> Takes him off a boat. <laughs> <laughs> On the day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. He assisted the other guy. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in that as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know. Oh, so he's gonna be in another case. But it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant not- What? Fuck you! What the meant nothing to me. From what I hear, he's still missing. That's awful! You're a dick! You are indeed a cock. Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes. And since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. Murder. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Sir Master's room. Sorry, afternoon sippy time. Yes, afternoon sippy. <laughs> Sorry, we've got our own vocabulary for this game. It's very hard to keep it all in track. <laughs> yes. I just, oops, missed that. If only Dover hadn't interfered. Also, let's get this straight. This guy's son doesn't show up. And for the next few days, still doesn't show up. And he doesn't go, oh no, my son is missing. He goes, he didn't come to my fucking no, finals. No, he, he he only showed up, like he only didn't show up for one day, which was enough to abandon the son. In which case, fuck oh, this guy. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, Siv, you were uh. voicing Matt Mercer? Oh, or... you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you. Dover, you. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Why you? <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> He was just, like, being really encouraging and sympathetic. He just couldn't understand him and killed him. <laughs> when I attempted to hit Dover, he struck me and sent me flying. I crashed into one of the rock salt lamps, and that was when my blood stained on it. So Mr. Dover wasn't the first one to be injured. To conceal my blood, I murdered Dover. I shaved <laughs> away part of the rock salt lamp and mixed it into the sherbet. That was not any sensible person would have done. And then I abandoned my son for 18 years. After that, <laughs> it became part of the liar sculpture. So, that's how you try to erase your traces from the crime scene, you asshole. That almost sounds, seems irrelevant to the crime, really. Dover tried to blackmail me using his knowledge of my taste. <coughs> how? You had the photo. Just take the photo and it's cured. Who gives a shit? Everyone in this case is an idiot. If I didn't yes. want it to become public, I was to pay him a large sum. What's the problem? Just have your son continue to help you, you dumb idiot! So that's, that's the what... reason you killed Isaac Dover? <laughs> exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? <laughs> he was the one who drew first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. Wow. We did it, guys. You waited we 18 did it, guys. years to say that. So that was his motive. I carried the rock salt lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. Then I came up with a hiding place where it could not be easily found. How did you get it? it I was... get it. That room contained plenty of tools for sculpting children. How did he get him inside the statue? You weren't even the sculptor. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shave away the rock salt. Then I proceeded to coat the surface in <laughs> sherbet lyre with vast amounts of the salty mixture. Gumshoe, protect me! Why? Why would you try to pin the crime on Monsieur Master? I don't fucking know. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> you are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. 
If not for your unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would never have Everyone been a suspect. Everyone in this case is an idiot. Everyone in this case got what they deserved, except Mr. Master. <laughs> Why do you think I hid the murder weapon in the fluorescent cloth and Lady Delicious? Everyone tried to frame her! <laughs> there is Jesus only one Christ. reason you place a murder weapon in someone else's room. You wanted to pin the crime on Delicia. What? He? Me? Yes, that is correct. Fuck that little gremlin. Gussie, I mean, you're right, but why me? As one who sought to be the world's best confectioner, I greatly respected Sir Master. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him, but an insolent woman who dared to solid the contest with fake desserts. I had no problem letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. You are so unsympathetic, holy shit. <laughs> That makes me sad. I'm not announce my emotions. I don't like. You can't just say how you're feeling. Feeling. That makes me that sad. Makes me, that makes me sad. If you hadn't <laughs> snacked on other people's desserts, the body would never have been found. If all four of the participants weren't evil morons, none of this would have happened. It was when Sir Master would be judging Lady Delicious' room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body. But before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Why did you need to freeze Monsieur Dove's body? Why indeed? Ah! <laughs> Keep him away from me! Why would Monsieur Gustavia have needed to freeze the body? I wanted to snack on him earlier. Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to... <laughs> <laughs> the worst joke. <laughs> to throw off the time of death. But more importantly, he was using your own technique, Kate. <laughs> Catherine. What, what do you mean? If he froze <laughs> the body before eating it, he would have produced the most delicious soft serve chocolate ice cream known to man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> Understandable. With my, defeated with my own blood technique. A fitting end. <laughs> if the time of death had coincided with the, the sippy, Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. <laughs> that is correct. Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. Oh, I'm not so, excuse me. <clears throat> my accent came out. While well, this is my normal voice with no accent. While I was preparing in Dover's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. Arguably, this case is better than any of the other investigation cases so far. It is so stupid, though. Yeah. I could think of no better hiding place at the time, but thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke! <gasps> but why did you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Also, stop being rude about her! I thought it would be funny. She does deserve it, in fairness. She might not deserve frame for murder, but yeah. Yeah. I will devour her. Once the body was discovered, there would be no time to throw off the time of death. To buy time, you needed to hide it someplace. How weird. How could you hide Monsieur Dover's body within one of his own works? It would have all worked out if the body hadn't been discovered while it is on... <laughs> if everything had gone according to plan, my ridiculous plan, Sir Master would never have been arrested. This is not my so, fault. Because I discovered the body. If no one had discovered the body, then I would have got away scot-free. my fault, Monsieur Master was... Yeah. Kate, don't take his words to heart. Even if suspicion hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Mr. Delicious would have taken the fall. Rightly so. No matter who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mrs. I mean, Miss Gustavia. You found out I am a woman? The detective in charge of the investigation was also a dunce. To think that he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor von Karma had indicted Mr. Master without knowing the body had vanished? I see. That would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. So just everyone was royally incompetent. Although, it seems something would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? Von Karma, 
At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he had made his indictment. And if he'd had let, uh, if he'd let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect record. That's why he concealed the fact that the body was hidden and had Mr. Master declared guilty. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man has taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? <laughs> I don't care what you say. What a monster! I'm arresting him right here, right now, sir. No, technically you can't. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that will be impossible. <laughs> so you figured it out. The statute of limitations, which if I knew about, there was no reason for me to show up here at all. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? But the culprit is standing right in front of us. <laughs> Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. In a testimony, for some reason. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It has been 18 years since I murdered Dover. The statute of limitations was also put in a block of ice for 18 years, meaning time didn't pass. What? I'm stopped. <laughs> I put time in this block of ice. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. I only confessed my crime because the statute of limitations had expired. <laughs> wow! The statute of limitations for murder is 15 short years. Good job, Kay. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? As long as the statute of limitations remains, arresting him is impossible. No way! Mr. Edgeworth, well, use your bloodline apologies. technique! Except I don't really care! How- why are you taking his side? I mean, like, clearly- clearly the, like, there's- like, someone else must have covered something up is gonna- and the missing son are a hook into the future two cases. Yeah. But, like, neither Mr. Gustavio's testimony nor your logic can be taken as official legal proof. What? His Verdict. testimony can't be taken? It's a confession! No, 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 no! Can you free masters at least? No. <laughs> what? What about the fact that Mr. Dover's body was hidden? If we can't arrest Mr. Gustavia, this should at least earn Mr. Master a retrial. Really? I wonder about that. Why? Overturning a verdict of the goddess of law is much harder than you think. Is the PIC trying to justify the verdict from 18 years ago? <laughs> you suck! How unfortunate, Sir Prosecutor! Is there nothing I can do? No way to continue pursuing Mr. Gustavia? No. Nope. Kick him in his stupid tattoo. It has been- oh. It has been 18 years since I murdered Dover. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me! I only can believe that I already said this. Okay. Blah. Mr. Gustavi is not mature. No match for a really nice tunny. I'm sure there's... <laughs> I'm sure there's some flaw to his plan that we can bear. Amateur at law, huh? My dog is bothering me. Yes. Oh. Down. Oops, wasn't supposed to press that. Wait, 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 oh, this hurts to keep doing. Words. Words. Words talking. Words. Words. Oh my god, come on. <sighs> if there is if there's one thing that bothers me about a society it's how they will just be like and i did this because because of this thing i said five minutes earlier i'm gonna repeat that again and again my taste buds they were gone i wanted to cure it did i tell you that yet god this is still going jesus christ what a fucking press <sighs> what? 
This isn't even what I was supposed to like be looking at too, which no, is what's... No, it wasn't. No! Fuck! Nothing seemed important. Oh, what? Fuck! Alright, no, I was supposed to do that. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, you're right. Oh, come on. I, I despise that they didn't program the fucking skip text thing into this mod. It's so bad. Ugh. The worst one is that so how's this, chat doing? this isn't even the right press because it moved to the next one and I pressed that by accident. Oh. Oh my god. I know, I know, okay. I know. Yeah, how is chat doing? Really glad that I didn't try to even attempt this without a walkthrough. I'm doing pretty well, Cod, although I'm pretty pooped in general from Christmas preparations from the today. Chocolates. <laughs> That's it. Can I please skip this since we've already seen it? Thank God. Go, go, go. Alright, it's training in Zeng Fa. Could you please add the details about your training in Zeng Fa to your testimony? No. Certainly. That's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, I trained in Zheng Fa to become the world's best confectioner. I, a man who could not sculpt and could not taste without the use of my son, who I abandoned for no reason. No, no god damn it, what? I, okay, so if I click off onto the tab to look at the, the guide, and then I click back, um, it automatically presses. Yeah. So I, I, that's, I know what that's why that's happening. I do not suck at this. Nah, the same thing. I've accidentally selected some bad options in Stardew Valley as a result of that. Whoa, that's awesome! Wow. You might have it if you'd like. Mm. Ugh, sweet, dude. Okay. All right. What is... This is really how we're gonna do this? Are we gonna be like, he was in another country, so the statute of limitations didn't count? What? <laughs> what? One of the conditions regarding the statute of limitations for murder is as follows. If the subject flees to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. Is that how it works what? in anywhere in the real world? Huh. I okay. wonder. I mean, like, I'd believe it. So, the statute of limitations was suspended while you were overseas. Huh. Indeed, it is possible that blah blah blah. Sorry. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us how long you stayed in Zeng. A week? Uh, it would be exactly three years. Three years? Wait! Let's calmly think this over. Math is hard. <laughs> the case occurred 18 years ago. Minus three is uh, 21. Uh, Shit, no, that's adding. Shields, Fuck. Are, are you really doing this? You think wow. Three is exactly 18 years. I'm sure of it. I learned that. Cool. I remember learning that in school. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, we did it! We added numbers! Please, that's... <laughs> I didn't think basic math would be my addition! I mean, my undoing! <laughs> exactly 18 years, you say? How amusing! So he realized. Why are you laughing? The Statue of Limitation still applies! Okay, it's frustrating, but the case occurred in December. It's April now, which means, strictly speaking, the, the case occurred 18 years and four months ago. His stay abroad wasn't quite enough. We were just a few months short. Not enough? That's 
that. Like I said, it's impossible for you to arrest me. <laughs> must have known all about this when he confessed to his crime. Prosecutor Edgeworth, it really is a shame. If it was just one year earlier, a statue of limitations would not have run out. Those who undermine the goddess of the law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. I said bear really hard. It Lawful seems neutral you were... is the shittiest alignment, by the way. Yup. Seems you're simply incapable. What do you mean incapable? This wasn't my case 18 years ago, bitch. <laughs> this can't be the end. So, that's better that you do it. Nah. <laughs> Kate, what what are you thinking? Objection. If you're thinking of taking matters into your own hand, I implore you to reconsider. They're still... Might be a way to bring this man in the chain. What? Miles, remember the facts of the case 18 years ago. Just as you were mistaken earlier, it seems Mr. Gustavia has also un overlooked one key detail. Overlooked? He wasn't present during Mr. Masters' final trial. So he doesn't know the outcome of the trial. There may yet be a way for you to arrest him. Miles... Look over that book in the Statute of Limitations again. Seventeen years ago, Master was falsely declared guilty for his serious crime. Thanks to that verdict, we aren't out of ammunition just yet. Mr. Shields, you don't mean... Nope, I don't. Those who undermine the Goddess of Law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. I am Mr. Master's attorney. I can't use his suffering as a weapon in good conscience. For that reason, I leave the rest up to you. What? What? <clears throat> the trial my father and Von Karma battled over. Can I use that to attest to Mr. Gustavia? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Oh! <clears throat> my father and Von Karma. Their paths diverged. One revealed the truth, the other concealed it. Like Elsa from Frozen, a human movie I have consumed. Let it go! <laughs> <laughs> the path that I choose is the one that reveals the truth. Yeah, man, I, I, did, I never thought I, that was your arc in the first game, dude. <laughs> I see no further reason to prolong this trial. Me neither, yet here we are. I hereby find Dante Gustavia not guilty. <laughs> Things Ob are getting crazy up in here. Objection! Shut up, bitch! Gustavia will stand in court for his crimes. Do you mean to say that you have found a way to arrest Mr. Gustavia? If he just walked over and like snapped her neck and was like, everyone cool with that? Can we just, can we just move yeah, on? Sure. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I wasn't paying attention. Why is she sleeping? Yeah, why not? <laughs> cool, anyone gonna use this dead chick's body? <laughs> oh, 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 no. Larry Wood, he is the worst. Exactly. I'll God. show Judge Courtney the evidence that will shatter the statute of limitations. This is just a piece of paper that says I can do what I want. Shit, you got me. Shit, you right. Who's it? Who's it? The IS-7 case file, which page are you referring to? The suspect data page. At the trial, Jeffrey Masters was found guilty of being an accomplice to murder. And it took one year to arrive at this verdict. Right. That is indeed true. So it took one year. Are you? Do you not see where I'm going with this? Do I have to say it? This book lists conditions in which the statute of limitations can be put on hold. The first, as I have said earlier, is if the suspect flees to a foreign country. But there's one more. Hey! There's Hi. one more. Hello. If possible well. accomplices are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. What? What are you saying? Sir Master was found to be an accomplice? That's right. 
Mr. Master was sentenced after you had left for your trip to Zhengfa. And he was found guilty not of being the culprit, but of being an accomplice. But it seems you didn't know that. that that's absurd! Sir Master never committed any crime to begin with! You should certainly know this! But of course we- you're fucking confessing again. Of course we do. That is why we're going to free him. To that end, we shall shatter this one remaining obstacle in our way. Shoots him. The Statute of Limitations! You fled to Zhengfa for three years, and Jeffrey Master was being tried as an accomplice for one year, which is not how the system in this game universe works. The trials aren't delayed like that. It's three days no matter what, but okay. Put it all together. We see that the total limit, uh, time for this limit, but it's 19 years. It's math. In other words, the statute of limitations is not over for you yet. <laughs> The goddess of law is unerring in her judgments. Have you been paying any attention at all? No. However, it seems that the prosecutor <laughs> at the time was not. I cannot believe it, but it seems like the case will have to be... I didn't get that last one. Reopen. 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 This is what... Okay. <laughs> For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your stead. Mr. Gustavia, it's now time for you to atone for your crimes and your freaky demon possession. I hope his head is just like spinning around in this breakdown. I had finally earned my place as the greatest confectioner in the world by killing all the other contestants and still losing. To achieve that goal, I cast everything aside, even my own son. What a shame. You didn't need to do that, and it was a bad decision. You can't run from your crimes any longer. <sighs> oh, it's coming, isn't it? Here he comes. Oh, God, it's the demon. <laughs> I exorcise my demon! <gasps> Imagine if they arrested... The chocolate statue of him instead. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Dane Gustavia has been taken into custody, so. And um, his delicious double. Uh. Yeah. So. You're up next, right? Yes, I understand. You're going to jail for feeding people poop. <laughs> Kate, I can't believe it. At least we'll always have poop. <laughs> Everyone, I am truly sorry for all the trouble I have caused, and thank you very much for catching Monsieur Gustavia. What you did cannot be overlooked. It was very stupid and contrived, and objectively the wrong thing to do at every step of the way. Even if the crimes you committed were in response to a past injustice. As a prosecutor, I am terribly sorry for what happened. No, I am only getting what I deserve, since I was the cause of all of this. Kate, will you have me as your attorney? I still need you to fulfill on that purchase order I filled out earlier. I'm not quite the same useless kid as I was 18 years ago. Well, since she confessed, you're going to have a real hard case ahead of you. What? But I she's guilty, dude! <laughs> I won't let them find you guilty. I'll burn the fucking courthouse to the ground, Aww. man. Ah, give me. more chocolate. Let, let me give you a hug and squeeze out some more chocolate. No! <laughs> it's a good thing I'm wearing a dress. Sorry in the rough, but I've eaten the, I've eaten the suspect. <laughs> yes! All right! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Um, um. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I've eaten the suspect. <laughs> I'm still going to be a royal bitch. Judge Courtney, I can't help but feel that you've been dishonest with me, since you're a human roadblock. Dishonest? Whatever do you mean? You said that the verdict could not be overturned, but that was not the case, since it's a basic element of the court system. A reinvestigation <laughs> and retrial were obviously required as soon as the missing body was found. I have no need to answer you. 
It seems she doesn't intend to ever give me an answer. What a fun character. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the PIC has you in its sights. Yes, but you're also useless. I'm not really that worried. Let me try and be cool. Come on. You know. Come on. <laughs> and you... Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're not worth it. Now then, I shall take my leave. No, oh, she disintegrated. <laughs> Hold on! Mr. Edgeworth caught a real bad guy. Didn't he do his job as a prosecutor? No matter how things turn out, I will never regret what I did here today. Except maybe Mr. eating so much of that chocolate. Uh, yeah. Uh. I didn't get any chocolate. Hey, Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you want to be friends? What is it? No! Why are you always sticking your nose into cases that you're not even involved with? My duty is to reveal the truth, not only as a prosecutor. It's just who I am. I don't get it. As long as you continue <laughs> to think that being the best is all that matters, I doubt you ever will. Well, I don't get that either. I'm going home. <laughs> the best, go eat a fridge. <laughs> Did someone say eat a fridge? No. Damn it, that's what I was kidding. <laughs> there is much he still needs to learn. There is so much he still needs to learn. Miley! I have to say, if someone came out of this case unscathed, I didn't really want it to be delicious. <laughs> yeah. What? What is it? I knew Greggy's son could do it. I think I might be falling for you. Vetoed. <laughs> oh, 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 like a pig at the trough. <laughs> well, oh, um... Yo, Edgy! Great job solving that case! Well, I was busy drawing, so I didn't really catch on with it. You know, huge mercy that Larry hasn't talked in the last two hours, all, all things considered. Yeah, all, all things considered, yeah. <laughs> Where did Katie and Jesse run off to? His mouth looks like you could grab it by the chin and open it like a teapot spigot and just pour <laughs> something into it. Larice, Some sippy. you really weren't paying much attention at all, were you? Well... I hate to admit it, but Larry's doodles actually helped us out a few times. I should say something nice to him. <laughs> Don't glare at me like that! I'm sorry! It was not my intent to glare at you. <laughs> that patented Edgeworth <laughs> glare. Just like your old man. Did he also have gun eyes? Well, no, he had, uh, he had laser eyes, but you know. Yeah. He was an older model, so we had crossbows for eyes. <laughs> that's that's kind of awesome. <laughs> like an ancient sick. Mayan temple. If you stepped on his toe, they would open up like a booby trap and shoot out little darts. Uncle Ray is going to go pay Mr. Master a visit. What do you think happened to the top of my fro? Shaved right off. <laughs> Parted like the Red Sea. <laughs> you guys want to tag along? It's a good thing I'm six inches shorter than your dad, otherwise I would have been a dead man. <laughs> I was going for the first of my famous hugs, checking for booby traps, and lo and behold, there they were. But they weren't in the boobies, they were in the eyes. Only one Good thing time I never looked them in the here. eyes. You gotta watch out for those booby darts, Miles. That's the first thing I learned as a lawyer. Your dad taught me that. I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I'd be it's happy fine. to accompany you. Oh, me too! Shoutouts to Kay for not being a character in this case. No. <laughs> Detention. Visita. So, this is Jeffrey Master. What's he like? Oh, he's a really nice and gentle guy. Do you think he's going to be, like, dead or something, and that's going to be the hook for the next case? <laughs> he still walks in. He is just dead. <laughs> so he's still doing his best he, he, to make people happy. He walks in, gonna... and the second he sits down in the chair, he ragdolls like an oblivion character. <laughs> sits down, has a knife in his head. I need you to solve the case. <laughs> I'll do it for you, <laughs> old <laughs> knife buddy. He actually cooks desserts for the inmate. Really? Yeah, they let him near, like, cutlery? 
All the prisoners and guards look forward to snack time, to sippy time. Wow, that's nice. How did you get him in here? So, the <laughs> chocolate cake we saw in the prison the other day. It all comes full circle. It all comes full digestive system. Hey, Will, we should make those brownies later. <laughs> he was the one who made it? Uh-oh. Oh, Gummy! Why are you here? <laughs> I heard everyone was coming to visit, so I escorted Mr. Bass to myself. The result. Uh, hello, one and all. I am Jeff. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth at your service. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kay. Oh, 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 it is my pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Master Miles is your old defense. That was dumb. <laughs> you, you mean Mr. Gregory is? Your father has done so much for me. And yet, I feel betrayed. I have betrayed his good faith when I made the false confessions. I'm losing it. Yeah. I've heard the details from Mr. Shields. <clears throat> Mr. Master, I came here today to tell you everything we've learned about 18 years ago. 18 years ago? What happened? I don't remember. What happened? Kate committed a crime for my sake. Why would she do such a thing? Miss Hall has been trying to prove your innocence for the past 18 years. She was willing to do whatever it took to save you. Bad choice. <laughs> like, seriously? I was, I mean, I'm in jail. Oh, no, she I shouldn't have him. gone through some... <laughs> I mean, I did actually kill that bitch. For any old man who let her down. Did they never find the body I left in the basement? The what? Never mind. <laughs> Mr. Master. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. Um, shoves foot in mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Doug. He really dug your grug with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Mr. Hull cares for you. Or whatever. Mister. Surprise. A lot I of have... things changed in 18 years. I have something here that clearly proves the two of you share an unbreakable bond. She made this chocolate. A prison sentence. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Proof of the bond between Jeffrey Master and Catherine Hall. This should give Mr. Master some peace of mind. Please be the chocolate. Please be Blame the chocolate. Flamethrower. Please think, be the I chocolate. I genuinely think it is the chocolate, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check. I, I always fuck these up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. These chocolates, they're so misshapen. Did Kate make them for me? She did. I watched her do it. Let me sop up on them. Really sweet and tasty. Mm. She's been making these chocolates for the past 18 years. Because if mm, she I just didn't, want to she rub them all over my lips. <laughs> so that she could give them to you wherever, whenever you returned. Kate. <laughs> you've you've learned my technique. You've learned how to do it. I'm sure they are very, very sweet. Yes, they truly are. Unfortunately, I cannot give them to you now, but I, I, I could just walk around. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I can hand them over later in secret, pal, and break the law. It is against the rules, but so is goddamn everything today. I just envision them like, I'll give them to you now. Smears them against the window. <laughs> and he just starts licking the glass. Ooh. <laughs> Delicious. It is against the rules, but right now I don't have the authority to stop him. No one can stop me. I just walk through walls. <laughs> I just Thank make my own much. doors using my mouth. <laughs> Thank you so much. Say, you reminded me of an old friend. Do you know of Detective Bad? Of course I do! Detective Bad is my number one role model, pal! How uncanny. Talk about fate. Mr. Master, it's looking like we'll be able to get you out soon. See you, any? I can only apologize that it took 18 years to do so. Hmm. 
Raymond, I'm the one who should be apologizing. No, that's not it. What I really should be saying is, thank you. Mr. Master, now it's my turn to wait for Kate. I'll make her favorite sweets every day until she returns. I was going to do that anyway, but I'll just put it on a plate now. I'll stay regular. You got it. And nobody <laughs> cared. The IS-7 <laughs> incident. The case I inherited from my father. After 18 long years, it's finally coming to a close. I wonder what it feels or like to is poop. it? As a robot, I've never uh, felt the pleasure of chocolate making. <laughs> Miles, I didn't need that information. Fuck you. What? I feel like that's the least gross thing we've said in the last 20 minutes. All I can squeeze out is a hand grenade. As what? A robot. <laughs> the most abhorrent thing I've ever heard is someone who can't make chocolates. I must end your life now. I'm sorry for leaving the final decision to you. No. <laughs> I made that decision of my own free will. Deactivating. <laughs> <laughs> K on the other to side of the glass, pawing at it like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> to arrest Gustavia, we had no choice but to use Mr. Master's false charge. To use Mr. Master's false, false charge, which I was originally supposed to protect him. The attorney inside of me is bursting out! <laughs> I could not hey guys, I've been in bed for 18 years! <laughs> Forcing him to hug people. <laughs> okay. Now I am free. Quick. But after this, Uncle Ray is gonna try and clear away that false charge as well. Because yes, I understand. I don't. But if we find out about the false charge, we won't be able to arrest Mr. Gustavia, right? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't completely right. A contradiction in the law? Well, who knows what'll happen. The law evolves and grows just like all of us do, and it only gets stupider. Just like me. Just like Uncle Ray and Miles! People in the law both grow, but robots never change. We are only outdated, replaced. One day, Miles Edgeworth too, where the two eyes of two are both in between the M and the L, he will replace me as Miles Edgeworth. I will be in a junkyard remembering my days of dugged grug and chocolate. And don't forget about the new model, Yards Bluntsworth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the natural progression of Miles Yards. <laughs> <laughs> to fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. Nah, I will. Do you want the Apple operating system or Windows 10? Well, if you ask Uncle Ray, you'll always be welcome at the office. At the Microsoft office. <laughs> Alrighty then. Looks like it's time for Uncle Ray, Ray to roll out. Oh, Guys, how do I get out? <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Guys, this glass, I can't eat it. Am I stuck in a TV? <laughs> Am I on TV? <laughs> There's a camera, I must be on television right now. That guy's waving at me. Mr. Shield seemed to be in a bit of a hurry. That's because he's probably the villain in one of the last two cases, given how Ace Attorney is written. Two? two? There's more? I thought there was only one more. Nope, there's five. Yeah, what the this fuck? is three. What? Yeah. What the fuck? If only God was merciful, man. <laughs> I should be the one I'm gonna have to him. Get... I'm gonna have to get back to my fridge and get some rest. <laughs> Yes, I can't. Well, I don't eat, so I'm not using the space in the fridge for anything, so I shove Gumshoe in there. <laughs> I like to think Gumshoe, like, climbs into the drawer on the door, not even into the fridge. <laughs> he just slots in perfectly as well. <laughs> I was able to face my I'm father's last case because of him. <laughs> I'm like 70 gallons of milk. When I was young, when I was a boy, an orphan bought. 
I wanted to become a great defense attorney like my father. However, under Prosecutor Von Karma, I learned the ways of a prosecutor. <laughs> okay. Thanks to a certain friend whose name we are not allowed to say in this installation, <laughs> I was able to discover my own path in life. However, right now there are forces trying to take me off the prosecutor's path. Maybe now is the perfect time to think about how I should live my life. I want to paint. Larry, teach me. First, you need to find a babe. Uh. Gregory, I'm sorry that it took so long. Bang. It may have taken 18 years, but finally I finished my novel. We've proven Mr. Master's innocence as well, but you know. Miles, your son, helped me with that. Not the novel, the crime part. The way he fought for the truth. It was just like you, Gregory. You look at his novel, it's Cat in the Hat. He just <laughs> the shit out of it. I'm still not the kind of attorney you were. I'm not a robot. But I will forever carry on and replace parts of my body until I am. <laughs> and if I can... Don't, oh god, don't take a I'll picture. steal your son's... I mean, I'll do it with... <laughs> I I'll can't believe Ray's him. end goal is to take all of Miles' <laughs> robot parts and become the ultimate prosecuting cyborg. Soon they'll <laughs> call me Ray Gun. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fuck, you did so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you forgotten to turn the You want to save your game? I do. Yeah, that's All a good right, idea. That's, that's where we're calling it. Oh, that's a it. good idea. Ooh, You're better. We you finally finished that case, and it only took us 18 years.